Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is Henzi Tanrin Sawyer from the Henzi Tanrin Sawyer Counseling Service. I run my own private practice in Bromley, Kent, which is in South East London. And I'm hoping that you've clicked this video today because you find the topic interesting. And today I'll be talking about low self-esteem. One of the things that I usually see in my client room and clients talk about a lot of the times amongst other things is low self-esteem i just want to say that you guys are not alone you know, as human beings there are times in our lives where we don't believe in ourselves we have that low self-esteem you know i myself suffered from low self-esteem when i was uh, in my teenage years but i outgrew that now that i'm in my 50s you know i'm able to say yes that is a point in my time in, in my life that i remembered and it wasn't a good time but i through my faith i was able to overcome um feeling low in myself low self-esteem so i've written some things down here as tools that i give my clients in the counseling room that i thought i'll give some of them to you but if you want the full details of what um your tools you can use in terms of tackling low self-esteem then you will need to book a session because everybody's issues are dis are different and everybody's um experiences are different so my experience and what you are experiencing in your life is all different but one of the things that i know in terms of low self-esteem is your own core belief so one of the things to ask yourself is what are your core beliefs and when i say core beliefs what are those foundational beliefs that you have or you what what is it you believe about yourself are you believing in other people's views do you have your own views are you believing in your parents views has something happened within yourself that made you feel that you don't have the strength or you don't have that self-belief it usually starts from your core belief so what i've written down here is you need to identify the source you know what is the source of your core belief where did it come from why do you believe it and what makes you believe it is very important that you understand that because when you understand where your core beliefs are coming from then you'll be when that when that foundation is shaken then you'll be able to understand if there's something going on that you haven't seen or there's something that has shaken up your foundation because once you don't have that foundation and it's shaken by maybe um, relationships, um, friendships, events and things around your life is something that you need to pay attention to. Um, another thing I put here is when and how has it affected you? If your core beliefs have been shaken, that I think the way it affects you, it comes up as low self-esteem. You know, so it's about paying attention before you start to experience that low self-esteem. It's about going back to the foundation of what is around you. What is what is things around you, those events around you, what is it doing to make you feel the way you're feeling now? Um, another point I've written here is what evidence can you collect that is a faulty belief? You know, if you don't believe in yourself or you don't believe, I mean, some, some, some people would say, I don't have any strength. I don't have strength. I can't identify my strengths because they've grown up. Your household also influences how you think about yourself. Now, if you've grown up in a household where you've always been put down, there's, um, there's, um, there's no praise, there's no emotional attachment, there's no warmth, or you've grown up in a in an environment where it's quite negative and you say that would definitely affect your belief system about yourself and that would definitely affect how you think about yourself. So it's about retracing all this faulty thinking and coming to the fact that what is it that you feel about yourself what is it that you want to develop in yourself and you want to improve that can also help and you know help you um, my next point here is what new beliefs might you choose to believe if you can make a list so my suggestion is make it make a list of the things that you feel that you want to believe about yourself not the things that you see or not the thing that someone has caused you to or make you see what is it that you want to believe about yourself 
if you've been hearing that you're no good that you're not good enough and you're feeling not not good enough and you've been feeling like that for se several years of your life do you want to continue feeling that do you want to let those people have that power over you or do you want to let that thought continue to have that power over you now if you don't want to let that thought have a power over you you write a list of things that you feel that you can do have your plan and do things you know that you want to do to experience that new belief that you want for yourself and if you want to know more if you want to receive more tools come into the session book a session with me and we can explore this together we can find out when this low self-esteem started to happen to you what your family environment is all about and what core beliefs that you have and what new beliefs that you want to have therapies cannot change what you think you can change what you think what i can do i can only give you the tools i can give you the tools i can give you strategies i can make suggestions but you have that power to make that move it's only you that can say to yourself you know what i'm fed up of this situation i want to make that change and as soon as you begin to make that change then change will come but you have the choice today to make that decision and i want to encourage you book a session book a session with me and get more more enlightened as we explore what's going on for you together i provide a confidential and a safe space that's full of warmth therapeutic experience that we can build together in our ther therapeutic relationship as we begin to explore the things that are going on for you i want to thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in the therapy room if you want to book a session read through the description and you'll see all the details there you can visit me in my web at my website which is www.htsawyercs dot com you can see i pause there because sometimes when i just i've been talking so long sometimes I, I think i've mentioned in my video before one of my videos i've said oh sometimes i forget my website address and that's why i usually say if you go to the if you click the description there you know it, it's there so i hope you find all this information there and i hope you found this video very useful i'll see you in the therapy room bye for now